Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed already, go ahead and do that right now. Don't forget to hit like and share. Uh, so today, uh, what I'm going to be doing is something unusual. Uh, actually, something I have had in mind for one of the rifles. But uh, I found a little project gun uh, yesterday at a little pawn shop. It's a Gamma 430. Uh, it's a dual clip on both sides and it shoots both BBs and pellets. I found it for about 25 bucks and I figure uh, it's kind of got some weird colors whoever had it uh, wanted to guess it some bling bling. Anyways getting to the point uh, what I want to do is it shoots pretty well so far um, and I'll do a review on that but uh, what I want to do is I want to give it a makeup and so and put some perks on it later but uh, some spray painting uh, camouflage on it uh, using the Rust-Oleum uh, camouflage spe specialty uh, paint they have. And I'm going to use two primary colors today. It's going to be the khaki and the uh, earth brown. These two here. And then I'm going to make sure I put the matte finish. But before I do anything, you gotta make sure you you clean your gun or rifle with uh, you clean it down pretty good. Don't use acetone or anything like that. It might melt down your plastic. Uh, I had it done before on some plastic that I was trying to paint one time, erase letterings and everything. So we don't use gun oil or stuff like that on air rifles too much. So I wouldn't suggest anything with acetone so maybe some alcohol a little bit lightly um, so I would do that before anything and then you can go ahead and get started to uh, go ahead and do your painting so I will go ahead and get this started and be right back so first of all you want to put your first coat is going to be after you clean it uh, thoroughly um, you want to put your lighters uh, coat first and these back here if you don't know which colors you're going to be looking for it's going to tell you right there which one it is I mean you can tell by the cap but um, it's going to tell you what uh, colors you're looking for on these and uh, so we're going to start out with the khaki and we're going to go ahead and then let it dry and then we're going to flip it over to the other side and then let it dry as well and then we're going to start uh, putting some of the uh, uh, different colors on it I did put painters tape on the magazine there just because uh, it has uh, uh, some of the I didn't want anything to get into the into the where the BBs or pellets go so and it's dual so I left it like that as a precaution so we'll go ahead and go ahead and paint that lightly now you don't want to uh, overwhelm the rifle with the paint or the gun in this case you want to do some light uh, painting over it just enough to give it a color takes pretty quick you don't have to sit there and overwhelm it so 
So hopefully this little project will turn out pretty good and we uh, we have a better looking camo. So far I'm liking the color. And you know if it doesn't turn out good you can always you know repaint it. So it's you know it's no big deal. So we'll let this sit for about 15, 20 minutes and then we're going to flip it around and then do repeat the process. So the next color I'm going to be using is the earth brown and I don't know if you can see it too well there but it's the earth brown and uh, I'm going to use a little combination of a, a, of a pattern. I cut this up a little bit some the soft cardboard uh, they found and uh, I'm also going to use a little bit of sponge. Uh, some two different type of techniques I've uh, saw on YouTube. So we'll see how it comes out. And if it doesn't look good, we'll go ahead and paint it all over again. So we'll go ahead and give this a shot. I think the main thing is to make sure that it's pretty close to body I had to pause there for a second I realized I didn't have gloves on and I'm going to be spraying a little closer this time than I was earlier don't want to get a bunch of paint on me not that it matters I can it'll come off anyways So let's see how this goes. Not too bad. So as you can see, it's not a big science. But it starts to look a little better. It starts getting in a character. So we're going to go ahead and uh, just make it a little. Might have spread a little bit too much there, but that'll dry up and we'll see how it goes. And so. We'll wait until that dries up and we'll come back to switch it over to the next side and see now that the other side is dry we're going to go ahead and start on this side here
So on the inside it's a little bit more difficult, but we'll figure it out. And it is looking a whole lot better than it was when I first got it. So again, we're going to let this dry up a little bit. And we'll see where we at at that point. Okay guys, I've let the paint dry off pretty well by now. And uh, I was going to do a mesh color on it as well, but I decided not to. I think it looks pretty good the way it is do it right now so I'm going to put the the matte finish on there now and uh, let it dry off and uh, that should be the end of that so we'll see how it turns out in the end mentioned before it's not a whole lot and this stuff dries up pretty fast uh, and you can use any combination of colors you like um, I just chose these because I like the, the colors and I mean I think they look pretty cool um, and the Rustoleum brand, it's been pretty good, and uh, they have their own specialty uh, set of uh, colors for it. So, but as long as it's a matte and not glossy, uh, it should work. Okay guys, well I'm done uh, painting the Gamo 430. Here's the final product. And it turned out pretty good I think. And it did not take that long. And from what it was, I think it, it turned out pretty good. Um, so if you guys, you know, if you come into a project, you just or you just want to paint your gun or rifle, it's not that hard. You know, I use, like I mentioned earlier, the Rustoleum camouflage specialty paint they have. In this case, I use two colors, the khaki and the earth brown, these two primaries. And of course, I use the the, the matte finish and whatnot, and I use that there. Uh, and they have other colors. And uh, so, you know, it's, you get creative and do designs. Uh, I had a gentleman I sent a picture as I was going through the process and waiting for it to dry and asked me how to I come up with the design and all I did was found a piece of uh, soft cardboard and you know used some scissors and just cut a little wavy kind of and you know used that 
I mean, it's not, just get a little creative. You could do more rigid, more curvy. Uh, so it's up to you. So I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the video. I think it looks pretty good. I mean, from what it was to what it is now. I like it. And uh, soon I'll be doing some of the rifles. And so... We'll see uh, how those guys uh, look. And so, like I'm before uh, I finish, uh, just make sure you know, like I uh, put some uh, painters tape on the on the clip there. Make sure it doesn't get anything in there. It doesn't jam up the pellets or BBs uh, when I decide to uh, use it. One. Uh, if you have a blowback, you know, just make some, take some precautions. And uh, if you're using a, you're gonna paint a rifle, you know, cover your glass and little things of that nature. Uh, so that's what I would say. So thank you for stopping by. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I uh, look forward to making some more. And uh, I'll see you on the next one. Well guys, this is the final product here. Didn't turn out too bad. I think it looks a whole lot better than when I first got it. Didn't take that long. The longest period is just waiting for it to dry. You know, um, you can get creative with this stuff. Uh, I took some pictures in the process, sent them to a friend, and he asked me about the pattern. And so, all I really did, uh, and I mentioned it to you guys earlier, took a small, soft cardboard and you know scissors and cut a little pattern there and used that. Uh, the paint I used two primary colors, khaki and earth brown. This brand here, Rustoleum, the camouflage uh, specialty they have works pretty good, dries up pretty fast. And don't forget to put, you know, some, uh, apply some matte finish on there, you know, just to protect it. Uh, and some, some guys put after the first uh, coat, they put the matte finish. And then they apply the second, third coat of whatever it is, uh, other colors they want to put. Uh, and they have their reasons for that. So, um, so they, so it's just subject of uh, different uh, video there. But we'll get to that on when, when I do the rifles. Uh, so if you have a blowback or something, I would suggest, you know, you, you protect those areas. Um, don't forget... Make sure you cover your uh, your clip so it doesn't jam up on you later on. Uh, I did cover a little bit uh, the area here where the PBs come out through. And so, other than that, it was a fun job. I enjoyed it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys have any ideas or questions, make sure you put the Comments down below, any questions as well. Uh, I look forward to doing more little projects like these. I'm going to be doing some of the rifles as well. And I look forward to uh, making some more uh, fun videos. So I'll see you guys soon and have a great day.